Hello, this is Kevin with 3G Store, and today I'm going to show you the single outlet IP switch, how to add it and control it through your application, and how to perform a firmware upgrade. Before we can get going, we'll have to get your switch connected to the network. The first thing you'll need is your Ethernet cable connected to your router, and then the power cable. Go ahead and connect these to your single outlet switch, and the switch will power on. When the switch powers on, you'll see a series of lights across the left-hand side. The first blinking green light indicates the switch is at its factory defaults and is in manual control mode. There's a red light that tells you if the plug on top is powered or not, and a yellow light indicating if the switch is connected out to the internet. We already have the mobile application installed, so we'll bring that up on the right-hand side of your screen. You can see we already have one outlet added, but we need to add this new one. Clicking the Add button on the upper right-hand corner will bring up the dialog to add your switch. You do need the master password that is listed on the bottom of your outlet. Once you have this, you'll click and hold the sync button on the switch for three seconds. When you let it go, the indicators will blink in sequence, telling you that the switch is now in its add mode. Going back to the application, you'll type in the five-digit master password unique to your switch, and you'll then go ahead and click the add button on the lower left-hand side of your screen. You'll get a dialog that tells you the switch has been added and it will appear in your list. The lights on the switch will then stop cycling and go back to how it was when you first plugged it in. Going to the application, clicking on the outlet will then bring up the controls. Clicking outlet will give you the options for either powering manually or resetting the switch completely. Turning it off, you can look at the switch and see now that the red light is turned off. This means that the power is off to the plug on top. Turning it back on, you'll go ahead and see the red light and the plug is now powered. Clicking the reset button will do this in sequence for you, so if you need to just simply reboot equipment, click reset and you'll see the light go off and turn back on. Back to the menu and into the settings, you have the options for how the switch is controlled. Right now it's in manual default, but you can switch it to auto reset. Clicking save will make that change, and on the actual switch, you'll see the blinking green light now go solid, indicating this is complete. Auto reset is perfect for resetting an internet connection to a modem or router when the connectivity is lost. Aside from the option for manual and automatic control, you can also set the switch on a schedule. The schedule will let you select a time of day and day of the week that the switch will either turn on or off. All of the options so far can be done from anywhere in the world through the application. Firmware updates, however, require you to be on the local area network of the outlet. Clicking More and then Device Upgrade will give you the firmware options. It will automatically search your local area network, find any connected outlets, tell you the firmware version that it's on, and in the upper right, tell you if a new version is available. Once you have your outlet selected, you'll click on it, and it will bring up the instruction for how to perform a firmware upgrade. Going back now to the switch on the left, step one is to power off the device. You can do this simply by unplugging the power cord. Step two says to press and hold the function button. Click and hold this and then perform step 3, which is to power the device back on. Once this is done, you'll see that the red and yellow light will both go solid, meaning the switch is in its upgrade mode. Back to the application, clicking continue, will start the upgrade process. Once the upgrade is started, you'll have a progress bar telling you exactly what percent you are through the process. It only takes about 30 seconds and this is done in real time as you're watching it now. The outlet will blink back and forth letting you know it is performing the upgrade, and once it's complete, the switch will unpack the firmware and reset itself. Depending on what version of firmware you're flashing onto the switch, you will get a message that'll let you know the switch is going to return to its factory defaults. Now that the switch is back online, you can see it's in its original state before we did any changes to it through the application. Once it's connected then back with the yellow light, you know that the upgrade's complete and you can then begin controlling your switch through the application again. For more information, visit 3gstore.com slash IPSwitch, and for more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to our channel. Thank you.